नमो भगवते राम कृष्णाय लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम स्वामी जगदात्मानंद जी स्पेशल लर्न टू लिव वॉल्यूम टू चैप्टर वन गिव अप वरीज एंड एंगजाइटीज फ्यूर शुड बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन ऑपरचुनिटी फॉर इम्प्रूविंग अवर इनर स्ट्रेंथ वी ऑल शुड फॉलो मॉरल एंड एथिकल वैल्यूज लॉस If we violate the moral law we will land in trouble this is explained in these two episodes fear as a challenge and fear of god an infant is scared when it hears some harsh voice when it tries to learn walking it is gripped with the fear of tripping and falling fear is a natural inborn trait of all it is an instinct the threat to our existence or to our liberty or thoughts about such a threat sows the seeds of fear in our mind the lack of confidence in our ability to face the problems of life also instills fear in us inferiority complex naturally leads to fear once a person faces a danger and successfully comes out of it he develops a sense of courage and self confidence a child is afraid to walk lest it should fall but gradually it learns not only to walk but also to run a healthy sense of fear makes us justly cautious but exaggerated imaginary and negative fear is certainly harmful the sense of danger should inspire us to find methods of crossing the obstacle of danger in this sense fear should be taken as a challenge it is an opportunity to awaken our inner strength fear of god there is a saying that the fear of god is the beginning of all knowledge but why should anybody be afraid of god in truth there is no need to fear god god is an absolute embodiment of love there is none that is so dear to us as god why should a fountain of love be a source of terror one wonders what led to the saying that the fear of god is the beginning of all knowledge here is an explanation there exists a god who is all knowing and all powerful there is nothing that is beyond his knowledge nobody can deceive him he is responsible for order in this universe our life too follows a definite pattern for success in life all of us have to follow a certain ethical code of conduct just as good hygiene and good nutrition lead to good health the pursuit of the ethical code grants us strength of mind and we become human in the right sense we have to follow the moral rules of the kingdom of god thou shall not steal thou shall not kill and thou shall not lie if we don't follow the ethical code of conduct we will invite difficulties if you are aware that transgressing such rules will harm the people around we become cautious we become afraid of the harm of such transgression this caution this care is a kind of fear this is desirable this in fact does not involve dread it is a kind of warning the fear of whether we would go wrong whether we may have to tell a lie whether one will traverse the path of deception and deceit and dereliction of duty prevents us from transgression this is a very important point the fear of whether we would go wrong 
whether we may have to tell a lie whether one will traverse the path of deception and deceit and dereliction of duty prevents us from transgression such a fear is a form of defense if we sow the seed of bad conduct the fruit is bound to be bitter this episode will be discussed tomorrow to be continued om shanti 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 hari hi om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu